greetings. It's interesting what just comes into the mind and the things that we see and the things that we hear. Let's give you an example of this. Let's compare nature and spirit. We start with the seed. That seed is in earth. Or it's an idea. It grows with a balance of sun and water, nutrients and so on. The seed in the spiritual sense grows from various experiences. Now I'm going to sp use a specific analogy here with corn for the nature. And then we'll look at it and see what else is revealed from that. So we'll go with nature. So this corn from the seed grows upright to the light. It will get a balance of all these things it needs to grow. It goes golden. It basks in the sunlight. And then comes along the harvesting. Now some of these corn, some of this corn will come off and they will drop into the ground. But it's a combine harvester. Your investment is in the human ra. So there's the harvesting, so you've got the grim reaper, you've got the sorting out, it's expressed biblically as the wheat and the chaff, wheat I think it's expressed as eyes, the seeds are the eyes, in corn it is ears, you have ears of corn. So, it's also expressed in Harry Potter, that sorting hat. It's a cap. It's up here. It's reading the mind. It's deciding which house to put you in. It might determine that you go in the house of Slytherin. I forget the names of the other three. It's the allegory that's being shown there in the Harry Potter films. So, You've got the nature program running there with the corn. You've got the spiritual program running pretty much the same. That wheat is then, or that corn is then sorted out as to where it goes. From that harvest, the good is gathered, as it were. You can see where the all the biblical references to this sort of thing comes in as well and why wheat is expressed or used as a, an expression. But it's a macrocosm and a microcosm. So let's look at the corn in the astrology. Well, that's Capricorn. Cap, Ra, I and corn. It's associated with Saturn, which has the ring around it, just as you have a ring, your aura, your own toroidal field. But let's, what about the physical micro? You may not like what you see, it's, uh, they're expressed as windows to the soul, but whole universe in there and each and every one of you spiritually you reflect you go within 
you go into the darkness to find the light inside. So how do you do that? Where's the other corn? The corn ears. Let's get this out of the way now and for those that like the whole flat earth concept think of yourself as being on the iris. But when you reflect, when you face your shadow side, you go within. The cornea is the, the corn that's right in front of you. And the core is near. If you have the ears to hear, cornea. It's within you. So this is very interesting. I just looked at this on a quick Google search. There's such a thing called, known as corn eyes. It's when the cornea thins and bulges outwards into a cone shape. This can cause blurry, distorted vision. And it is known as keratoconus, which I think is a wiki entry, very kindly gives us the Almost a phonetic breakdown, it's ker ur ter ko nas So it's saying to me, curse you to con us. Because you're seeing things distortedly. It occurs when the cornea thins and gradually bulges outward into cone shapes and hence is known as corn eyes. You can think of the cornea as being your firmament, but you have natural veils because they are the eyes of the deceiver. This external reality and all the craziness and only today I have been told about one of the most bizarre ideas um, it's a beautiful exchange, and this is the thing with the this age of Aquarius, it is all about exchange. So how beautiful that the system is providing a breadcrumb trail from its source, the internet, that comes out of these artificial eyes via the internet. And this wonderful idea to reenact what I can see as being Titanic version 2. Some of you know, will know what I'm talking about and referring to, but uh, we're in the age of the fake gurus. I have no intention of causing division and I'm saying no more on this. I could say a lot about a lot of channels and what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing, and more importantly, what is not being said and what is not being heard. But you are your own universe. You have free will. Just like the Harry Potter sorting hat, it would say, I recommend you go in this house or that, that house. And I think if I remember correctly in the film, you can still choose to go in one of the other houses. It's the same as um, <coughs> a series that was on a few years ago. I think it was called Insurgents, where you grew up in a family in one of four groups. You were either in agriculture or a worker. You had different colour clothing, um, the financial and office all dressed in blue and so on and it, I think when you reach the 18 in that you can choose to stay within that group um, which means you can stay with your parents or you go to this other group um, and you never see your family again in that one but there are these few divergents who can um, trick the system and they're sort of outcasts because they see through everything that's 
what what all this comes down to it's shutting your eyes yes be aware of what's going on the outside but also be aware of what it is showing you what is being reflected meditation is about going within it's all about reflecting you're facing yourself you're facing the unpleasant side of yourself you're forgiving yourself for i mean i wouldn't want to face that this this me from say 20 years ago I certainly wouldn't be on my friends list um but that's okay um I can live with that because they're all experiences you do things at the time based on what you think you know <laughs> but it's very much about not thinking it's about very much about going inward and meditating it is about reflecting reflecting upon yourself you want the answers just take a long look at yourself go and look in the mirror and see what you see do you like what you see if why don't you like what you see why do you think you need to change anything about yourself? You were created perfect. So why would you need any form of modification? Why even bother seeking anything when it's all inside you? There's a whole universe waiting there to be unlocked and be discovered. And you've got the power within you to unlock that. But it's free will. You can do what you want. There's no judgment on this. Right, so corn, cornea, corn ear, the core is near. It's all about uh, singing from the right song sheets. The core of us is expressed as that apple, the apple core, has black seeds in the middle of it. Of course, it's more than one. But you've got this double helix being presented to you. His creation at the start. There'll be a problem, a dis-ease created. Human imagination will overcome that and come up with an antidote to it, a synthetic one. So the synthetic will then come up with something else. The creativity of humanity will come up with something to put that right again. But the whole time, this thing is just like the cells, the cells of nature. It's, it splinters, it fragments. When it comes down to it, you are your own universe. You could go on to create another plant that grows new corn. You are the ear on that cob. Depending on how you grow spiritually will depend on when the harvesting comes, where you go. And again, you've got that sorting hat. So it's like, okay, we recommend you go here, but you want to go and have that experience, whatever you choose, then you'll be given that. But you may make it hard for yourself not taking the recommended choice, the choice that comes from within you. So, a lot of craziness out there, a lot of crazy speculation on things. <laughs> It's all illusionary. It's all external from you. It comes down to having that core strength, that core feeling inside you that you are the universe and nothing can hurt you. All that is presented to you is an external reflection. What do you do with that external reflection? What part you want to play on the world stage is entirely up to you. When it comes down to it, it's your choice. What do you do? But it might be an idea to make informed choices formed inside 
Everything is within, after all. So, a few things to be seen and heard. Corner, cornea. The corner. The corner is an angle, it's an angel, it's an L, either way. L and Ra, always you know, dualistic. It's another rabbit hole to de try and determine which is the good one, which is the bad one. They've both got elements of good and bad. You have to find the balance, just like the corn with the sun and the moisture. Taking enough nutrients out of earth, but not too many. So you ripen and then you are picked and you go on to create something new. Find the king keys to the kingdom and all will be given to you. And that's coming from within inside you. It's all in your gut, your gut instinct, your gut feeling. Nature and spirit are not really that dissimilar in a way, except nature is an expression in a, a three-dimensional. In this reality, spirit is beyond that and eternal. And uh, meanders like a serpent. It goes, weaves its way. Hopefully you'll just be piloting it through the right doors. But uh, remember, it's all an experience and... It's actually a fantastic time. Just observe. Just sit back and watch what's going on. It's um, ah, per 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 perplexingly, mind-boggling, astoundingly, wonderful. It's incredible in the sheer stupidity. It's incredible in the very aspects that are being revealed as well. It's not all bad at all far from it the bad is just a reflection but look for the positive look for the good in it it's there to be found so what are we up to 17 minutes that's enough waffling so that word again keratoconus kera sounds like terra to con us. That's what this reality is all about. It's just a game. You don't have to play it, do you? You can see through it all. Use the natural veil of the lid, pull the lids down. It's your arc after all. You want to ride out the storm. Or you can absorb all the fear you want. There was a time, and naturally, if something horrific was shown, you would go, oh, that's unpleasant, I don't want to see that, which this reality, particularly in films, the graphic of the horror, when you compare something like a Boris Karloff Frankenstein film of that black and white era, the, the horror film that's basically a battle of good versus evil, as it were, or nature versus anti-nature, with the creation of Frankenstein, where man is trying to play God. And you compare it with the things you'll get on Netflix and things, and how graphic, and how it's being encouraged that you look at it. I think a perfect analogy is somebody, a young girl being shown taking a selfie while she's in the jaws of a great white shark, because... You're now very much folk, uh, encouraged to focus on the negative and look at the vanity, the, the insanity of the vanity in it all. There's the word in encoded in that there. You might want to weigh that up and reflect on that as well. What is insane? What is insanity? Insa what is insane eye tie? What is your eye being tied to? What are you seeing out of the cornea of your eye? Ta-ta for now.